Okay, this next one is a little simpler than 2.2. It is just a square, 80 by 80 millimeters. It has a hole in the middle which has a diameter of 30, which is the same size as these arcs here, which have a radius of 15. Of course, a diameter is the measurement from one edge of the circle to the other edge of the circle through the center, and a radius measures an arc from the center out to one of the edges, or it could be a circle too. An arc, again, is just part of a circle. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new drawing in millimeters. And then I'm taking, get rid of the lady here. I'm gonna go to my uh, scenes. I'm gonna go to my top view. I'm going to insert from my computer, the 2.3 JPEG. I'm gonna insert it as an image. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put the cursor here. Give it any old particular size I want and then use the tape measure tool, say to measure across the top like this. And right now it's about 1,400 millimeters. So I'm just gonna type in the number 80 ask me if I want to resize it and as usual I'll say okay and next time I start a lesson I'm just going to go ahead and have the image inserted for you so that we can save some time so I'm just going to kind of put it over here because the best practice when you're starting a drawing is to start it at the origin and that's where the green red and blue axis meet so I'm going to type in R for rectangle and I'm just going to go ahead and pull it up. And by the way, see that blue dotted line there? That tells us it's a square. So I could just, um, you know, just mouse out watching my measurement dialog box until I get up to about 80. Another thing that you get is a golden section. Um, you can look that up. That's, uh, we'll be using golden sections when we get towards the end of the course and we model the Parthenon in Greece. But for now, I'm just going to click anywhere and then type in 80 comma 80 to get it the right size. And there we go. Type move, kind of snug that over. And then go shift C to get a zoom extent. So I'll go ahead and close that for right now because we don't need it. So let's go ahead and find the centers here over 40. So T, T for tape measure. I'll pull down, type in 40, hit enter. I'll go over to the left or the right side, pull across, type in 40. And that's about all the measurement that we're really going to need. So we'll go ahead and type in C for circle. The default is 24 sides. I'm going to go ahead and switch it to 50 this time. Hit enter. Click right there. Pull out. And since the diameter is 30, um, I need a radius of half of that. So that's 15. And then I'm going to go ahead and make arcs over here just to show you something different. So I'm going to choose the option for an arc where we start with the center and then sweep around. So I'm going to click right here. I'm going to come down. I'll just type in 15, hit enter, and then just sweep up around until I come up and make that half circle. Same thing, pull across here, fifth hit 15, and then without clicking, move down all the way around like so, and make that circle. And I'm going to do it two more times, and one more time here. There's the center of my arc, just mouse over along the red axis, 15 millimeters, sweep around like so. And now we just need to erase that segment, that segment, because these arcs split this edge. You know, anytime you have intersecting geometry, it does some cutting for you. So drawing lines and arcs not only adds geometry, but uh, can help divide it. So I'll click on this right here, delete that come out add some dimensions so again that's nested in the tape measure tool so I'll go from here 
to here and pull down to where that says 80. I'll come over and add this dimension on this side that says 80. I will go back to my select tool and click on this, find the center there, click on the circle. Oh, I missed, there we go. Find the center, click on this, find the center, click on this, find the center, and one more. Click on this, find the center. So we now have those tick marks. So now when I come back to the dimension tool, I can click on that arc and this time, well, let's see, let's put it up here instead because they're all the same in that way. The dimension up here doesn't interfere with this 80 millimeter dimension on the side. And then finally, the circle is going to give us a diameter dimension because it's the complete circle. And let's see, oh, just need one more dimension. And that is from here to that midpoint right there. And I think we're done. So click on this and then right click and hide it. By the way, if you want to bring it back, you just come up and let's see, it's going to be under the eyeglasses and the display. You can go ahead and check hidden geometry or hidden objects, they're kind of confusing. So you can just click them both and then you can come in here and unhide, okay? But I want it hidden and I don't want it visible because the last thing that we're gonna do here is go ahead and submit this. Oop, we better save this, shouldn't we? Always save your work. I'm kind of, kind of rushing here. We've got some people doing some flooring, which I'm sure you heard heard the tile saw running 2.3 Eric Westland or whatever your teacher asks you to save it as so we'll go ahead and save that and then file print and again this is the last time I'm going to demonstrate this for handing in the rest of these assignments so I'm going to hold down my shift key and kind of get it centered and then i'm going to cancel because i forgot to turn off my guides and if you want you can turn off the axes the green the red and the blue axes if you want so you have a little bit more of a clean drawing although i kind of like to have them but it, it's just a preference deal so now we'll go ahead and it says it's saved so now we can go in and choose to print it we get that nice preview so we're liking that, we'll go ahead and click prepare to print and save it wherever you can find it. We'll go ahead and open it up, cancel the print preview, and there's our finished 2.3.